Hi, this is Stan. Well, I'm in Skagway, Alaska. We're doing a cruise, but I thought since there's a train here, let's just do a little rail fanning today, okay? <laughs> If you've not been to Alaska, put it up high on your list. Basically, it's the Alps meeting the ocean. Up here all along the coast, we're in the Inner Passage in southern Alaska. And it's beautiful. This is the historic White Pass and Yukon route a three-foot narrow-gauge railway designated an International Historic Civil Engineering Landmark. Born in the Klondike Gold Rush, constructed from 1898 to 1900, it travels through Alaska and Canada, linking the port of Skagway, Alaska, with Whitehorse, the capital of Yukon. So sorry for the shaky camera, but I don't have my video gear with me, just my phone. Well, let's rail fan a bit as this EMD motor power pulls its train out of the station. This train is headed off into the mountains. This was the primary route to the interior of the Yukon. It has no direct connection to any other railroad. It continued commercial operation until 1982, and then in 1988, it was partially revived as a heritage railway. Ironically, at the time tracks reached Whitehorse in 1900, much of the gold rush fever had died down. Well, after a couple hours cruising downtown Skagway, another train was just about to leave. And before I got chased away by railroad officials, I was able to get some close-up footage.
Well, time to get back aboard the ship. Hope you enjoyed a tiny bit of Alaska. This is Stan saying thanks so much for watching and join me right here next time on the Crow's Nest Railroad.